Mom, I just found out I was diagnosed with cystic fibrosis. What's cystic fibrosis? Mm -hmm. I don't know, the doctor didn't really explain, but we can do some research. Oh look, it's a homozygous recessive genetic disorder. What chromosome number do you think is affected by cystic fibrosis? It says chromosome 7. Oh yeah. It says approximately 70% of the mutations in cystic fibrosis patients correspond to a specific deletion of three base pairs, which result in a loss of a phenylalanine residue and amino acid position 508 of the mutated product of the cystic fibrosis gene. Extended haplotype data based on DNA markers closely linked to the Putative, putative disease gene locus suggests that the remainder of the cystic fibrosis mutant gene and pool consists of a multiple different mutations. A small set of these matter mutant alleles? About 8%. May confer residual pancreatic exocrine function in a subgroup. I wonder what the occurrence in the general population is. Like, who is it most prevalent in? It says in the United States the disease affects about 1 in every 3,900 newborns. And it's estimated that approximately 30,000 Americans are afflicted with this disease. The genetic defect that causes CF is most common in people of Northern European descent. In Europe, the CF rate at birth is 1 in every 2,000 to 3,000. It's estimated that 1 in 25 individuals of Northern European descent are carriers. I wonder what some of the symptoms are. It says most of the symptoms of CF are related to the sticky mucus that clogs the lungs and the pancreas. People with CF have difficulty breathing and are highly susceptible to bacterial infections of the lungs. It also says that normally bacteria are expelled from the lungs by coughing and the movement of mus mucus up the airways to the throat where the bacteria can be expelled, but in people with CF, the mucus is too thick to be removed and bacteria are able to inhibit the lungs and cause infection. I hope there's treatments or a cure. There's no cure for CF. Treatment of the disease mainly involves alleviating symptoms caused by the buildup of mucus. To combat the lung infection, many persons with CF are given a large dose of antibiotics to prevent a severe life-threatening infection. Some people even undergo a course of antibiotics four times a year on a predetermined schedule. Mucus in the lungs can also be broken down by the drugs called myolytic mucolytic agents. These agents can be taken orally. Other drugs are inhaled as aerosols. What do you think the diagnosis is? Cystic fibrosis is a genetic disease. People with CF have inherited two copies of the defective CF gene, one copy from each parent. Both parents must have at least one copy of the defective gene. People with only one copy of the defective CF gene are called carriers, but they do not have the disease. Each time two CF carriers have a child, the chances are 25% that the child will have CF, 50% that the child will be a carrier but not have CF, and 25% that they will neither be a carrier nor have CF. The defective gene contains a slight abnormality called a mutation. There are more than 1,700 known mutations of the disease. Most genetic tests only screen for the most common CF mutations. 
So what's the prognosis? Well, it says here that people with cystic fibrosis are at a greater risk of getting lung infections because thick, sticky mucus builds up in their lungs, allowing germs to thrive and multiply. Lung infections caused by mostly caused mostly by bacteria are serious and a chronic problem for most people living with the disease. Minimizing contact with germs is a top concern for people with CF. The buildup of mucus in the pancreas can also stop the absorption of food and key nutrients, resulting in malnutrition and poor growth. In the liver, the thick mucus can block the bile duct, causing liver disease, and men's CF can affect their ability to have children. Breakthrough treatments have added years of life to people with cystic fibrosis. Today, the median predictive survival age is close to 40. This is a dramatic improvement from the 1950s, when a child with CF rarely lived long enough to attend elementary school. Because of the tremendous advancements in research and care, many people with CF, CF are living long enough to realize their dreams of attending college, pursuing careers, getting married, and having kids. While there's been a significant progress into treating the disease, there's still no cure, and too many lives are cut far too short. I wonder what some ethical and social implications for both the person with the disorder and their family are. Says that living with the chronic disease can be emotional, emotionally challenging. Although moments of sadness and anxiety due to the uncertainty of your health may come and go, depression and persistent anxiety should be treated as part of your overall health and emotional wellness. Lastly, it says that this thick and sticky mucus that builds up in our lungs functions like silly pies. So when bacteria enters our lungs, they tend to stick around forever, whereas people health, with healthy immune systems can fight them away. As a result, people with CF harbor dangerous bacteria in their lungs, and these bacteria are contagious only to other people with CF or compromised immune systems. I guess the good news is that CF is not at all contagious or dangerous to healthy people. The bad news is cross-infection risks mean people with CF are advised not to be within six feet of one another. CF is an invisible disease, which means that as sick as our lungs and other organs are on the inside, you can't tell from the outside. Just from looking at me, you'd probably never guess that I have less than a third of the average lung function or that I'm teetering on the brink of a lung tra transplant evaluation. I'm glad we know more about CF, honey. Me too. Now we know the steps we can take to keep you healthy.